Hello, um, I'm Phil Huckle, uh, the brand specialist for um, Castrate. And uh, this afternoon we have a very, very special unboxing, unveiling of a whiskey which I am so excited to actually to see and to hold um, and to reveal. Uh, this is the last cask of this particular distillery in existence and it's been bottled. And just to give you a little background um, my, um, regarding myself and this particular distillery, I had no idea that, this car, that a cask from this distillery was still in existence. Uh, the first clue is that uh, I used to work for a company called Pernod Ricard and they are the owner of this particular distillery. Now that will narrow it down to 13 distilleries. Have you guessed which one it is yet? Well, this distillery is also the heart of the very famous Shivers Regal blend and the luxurious uh, Royal Salute blend. And you may know from what I've just said that um, inside this box here um, should be a special bottling of the Strathida distillery, but it's not. This is a, um, this bottling in here is 72 years old. Uh, it's been bottled by Gordon McPhail. Um, there's only 180 bottles were left in the cask. And um, it comes in at, it retailed for 50,000 pounds. So I think we just start trying to reveal what it is. So um, let's open the box here. Now, Gordon McPhail, they, they actually do keep their, their packaging um, fairly simple, which I like. Um, so we've just got in here um, a little bit of the padding. I would hope for uh, 50,000 pounds, it is quite well protected. And uh, we do have, um, they've actually separated the, the whiskey and the box in more padding. So um, this is the actual box itself, which is a very, very elegant, um, well put together box. So I should actually get to um, what the whiskey is. And I bet not many people will be aware of the name of this distillery. Um, it is actually not Strathyla, but it is actually called the Milton Distillery. Now, um, the Milton Distillery actually dates back to 1786. Um, it is one of the oldest working distilleries in Scotland, but the name was only changed to Strathyla in um, 1950. So I had no idea that there were any casks of Milton left. Um, this, is, this is the last one, it's been bottled, it's 72 years old. And um, this distillery uh, was actually bought by Sam Bronfman, who is the, um, the famous Canadian bootlegger and owner of the company Seagrams. Um, in 1950, he buys um, the company Shivers Brothers he wanted to um, get hold of the famous brand Shivers Regal, um, but he noticed that he didn't have the key single malt whiskey that goes into creating Shivers. So he buys, okay, the, Milton the then Milton Distillery uh, for £71,000. He outbids, funnily enough, this company here, Gordon McPhail, by £1,000. Gordon McPhail bid £70,000 for the distillery and um, Sam Bronfman bid £71,000 and he then, the following year, changed the name to Strathyla. But the Milton casks would have been um, pre-1950, and this is a 1949 Milton sherry cask, the last one in existence. And if you can see, look at this like beautiful, dark golden, rich ruby color. Um, the Gordon McFowl have described the tasting notes as quite medium, as medium bodied, um, quite rich, quite fruity, um, bursting with like flavor of like Seville orange, but also with a wisp of smoke. Now this is also quite rare as well. Um, Strathyla today does not um, use any peat in its malting process, but back in the, back in the uh, early 1950s and before, it was quite common for pretty much all the Scotch whiskey distilleries uh, to use at least a little bit of peat when they when it came to malting. Uh, so this actually has a little bit of smoke, unlike the Strathyla of today. Um, really one of the most exciting whiskies um, I've ever held in my hand. Um, I'm just tempted right now to um, 
uh, quit my job and um, open the bottle and uh, taste it. But uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, but real, real a real pleasure, a real privilege to actually hold an incredible piece of Scotch whiskey history.